Good morning, everyone. On this Tuesday in the 30th week in Ordinary Time, we're continuing our reading in the book of Romans, and we're still in chapter 8. We're in verses 18 through 25. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed uh, for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who will hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We hear at the very end of this passage the repetition of hope, hope, hope that whatever sufferings we may be enduring during this present time, as Apostle Paul puts it, it's nothing, nothing in comparison with the glory to be revealed to us. And that glory to be revealed to us, as Apostle Paul goes on further, is not just simply for us, the children of God. We, by our adoption in belief in Jesus Christ, have been made sons and daughters of God. That's an incredible gift. But creation itself is waiting in anticipation for its adopt that fulfillment, set free from corruption that the created order has had. And so as we look at our situation in life right now, whether it be just within our own selves, our kind of small circle, or we look at the world as a whole and everything that's going on and everything that seems to be in, in chaos and up, up, you know, in, in the sense of uh, helplessness in so many ways, we have hope. Hope not because we see it, <laughs> far from it, but hope because we know that God's word is sure and firm. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we get to see each other soon. Bye for now.